Today, there are so many Juneteenth celebrations across Music City, but one in particular is expected to draw hundreds bright and early. Tony Sloan live at Shelby Park for us this morning. And Tony, the Freedom Day 5K is just a few hours away. Yeah, that's right, Amy. We actually started to see people trickle in here to the park for setup. This is actually the area where they say they'll be doing the sign-ins and having people pick up their packets next to the Dripping Bird statue. But this is the second year of the Juneteenth Freedom Day 5K. And organizers say participants can run, walk, or even dance in this event to celebrate Juneteenth. It's here at Shelby Park by the main events field. And while it is set to be a fun event, organizers say it can get pretty competitive as people try their best to get bragging rights and win one of more than six award medals. Now, things are getting started early. People, they're picking up their packets here around 6.15 to 7.15, and the 5K starts at 7.30. Now, I mentioned those medals. The awards they're giving out is overall top three male and overall top three female, as well as each group. Now, for those participating, they say running the 5K is a good motivation in itself. But also, there's a fact that proceeds from the event goes to good causes. Three local nonprofits focusing on youth literacy, health, and wellness. And they are Training Ground, Ramsey's Reach Foundation, and the Transformation Life Center, which is Brown Boys Read. And these are all organizations and groups dedicated to helping young people reach life goals. So the theme is very fitting, but the main message is to celebrate Juneteenth, which marks a day of freedom as the last enslaved people were finally granted their freedom two years after the Emancipation Proclamation. Of course, that event happening in the next couple of hours will be here all morning showing you everything that takes place for the holiday celebration. I'll send it back to you.